Hey friends, it's Sarah from Sweet Scents from the Dollhouse. I am bringing you a quick update video. Um, I was meaning to throw this in at like the Wax Wars Wednesday or my Throwback Thursday video, but to be honest, it just slipped my mind. I was almost two and like, oh, I commend stay-at-home moms. <laughs> I tell you, I haven't, I, I was a stay-at-home mom, like, a whole nother lifetime ago, but staying at home with Ella is starting to grind my gears a little bit. Um, I consider myself a bit of an intellectual, so I enjoy being intellectually challenged or stimulated or just having adult conversations like I find myself going into the bank to make a deposit and I want to chit chat to the teller like one of those annoying people you know you've been behind those annoying people whether you're just in line at the grocery store or at the bank and you're in a hurry and there's that annoying person who's chit chatting and you're like yeah shut up and go I'm turning into one of those people just because I'm so desperate for adult interaction so I'm like I need to go back to work or I find like there don't get me wrong there is really 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 good things about having such a ginormous age gap between your children but I started when the kids are like two three four instilling like daily values of you know you pick your clothes up off the floor you don't leave wet towels around even when they were that little i would encourage them to make their beds of course i would go back when they're not looking and tidy it up and straighten it up because if you've ever seen a three-year-old make a bed it's a nightmare but it's instilling the values so around the same time and if you don't have teenagers yet if you don't have kids yet keep it that way or if you know your kids are still small this is what you have to look forward to so as soon as hormones hit all previous teachings is like out the window they know everything and they're dirty pigs dirty pigs so I have these lazy teenagers who are just gross just gross and then I have an almost two-year-old who it's like her life mission is to be a midget hurricane just wrecking left right and center I'm really gonna start to try and curb my language no I'm not I'm gonna try but YouTube won't monetize my videos if I cuss in them so <laughs> I'm trying for my subscribers who don't appreciate my potty mouth as well as for YouTube monetization they won't print commercials on your videos if you swear in them I might just drop the f-bomb in every other video so spare you those annoying ads however what was I saying oh okay just to prove a point with the lazy teenagers there was this bag of Tostitos rounds you know like the dip chips just like the end of the bag crumbs stale no one wants to eat shit you know what I'm saying so I left it on the side table in the living room don't know which lazy teenager left it there after watching movies one night but I left it on the side table to prove a point to see how long it would take for somebody to go oh I'm gonna throw out these stale bit chips you know it just doesn't even it's not even the realm it's not even the scope of teenage things to do tidy up after myself say what no they just don't do that so me and my silly ideas I'm like let's leave it there and see if I can prove a point I guess who picked it up right after I cleaned the floors oh Ella did not only did she pick it up tipped it upside down it did one of these while standing on the sofa Trying to keep a clean house with teenagers and a toddler is like nailing jello to the wall. Like, I'm just, oh, I'm so ready to go back to work. Anyhow, end of rant. So, it came to my attention that I should have contacted Make Sense Candle Company and let her know that I was going to post my haul video. Um, I apologize to any of my subscribers um, that I didn't do so I just figured that it's Christmas time and she'd be crazy busy with placing orders or 
or I, I didn't realize, but about 12 hours after I posted my haul video, Make Sweets, or Make Sense Candle Company in New Brunswick, Canada, closed her shop for uh, her Christmas rush. And I, I totally respect that and I totally get that as an indie vendor. This is handmade product. So essentially what she did is she's closing her shop for a little while just so she can catch up on her orders and get her own Christmas chaos stuff done as well. Because she's like a one man band, right? So she closed her shop to ensure that all of her Christmas orders would get out in time for the holidays as well as get her own Christmas chaos and shopping done. And she's hoping to open up one more time before the Christmas holidays. I am watching her Facebook page profusely and because I too want to place a second order. Um, so I will give you guys an update, but I apologize to any of my subscribers who may have watched that video and 12 hours later went to place an order. Her shop is temporarily closed so she can catch up on orders. So stay tuned because I will announce when she reopens. And yeah, that's about all the news I have. No Scentsy news other than if you are procrastinating about putting your Scentsy order in, why are holiday items every single day? There is another holiday item that is sold out on the website. Do I have? Oh, yes, I have one of our holiday flyers here. Well, let me tell you which ones are sold out. Silver Frost, beautiful. I have it. No longer available. Um, oh, the Gingerbread Man, that sold out weeks ago. Tinsel, that sold out. We all know what happened there. What else is gone? Like, they're just, these are limited while quantities last. They're, like, don't, just don't wait. Falling Snowflakes and Nativity have both sold out, if you want to get your Jesus on. Uh, unfortunately, you can't because it's gone. Milford the Moose is gone. He wasn't in this brochure, but um, the holiday oils, the fragrance oils, they've been gone since forever. So our holiday collection is an LTO, limited while quantities last, limited time only. You have to, have to, have to place your order as soon as you see these products come available because I think I've mentioned this in a comment or in a video before. Scentsy has a ginormous standard catalog and then we introduce these mini catalogs several times throughout the year. Scentsy's only so big, we don't have the warehouse room to store all of this stuff, nor do we mass produce it. So LTOs are limited while quantities last. You have to place your orders. I also have a deadline video in my video playlist for all of the uh, Christmas deadlines with Scentsy. You you don't want to wait until the deadline to place your order. Place your order now. That way you know for sure you will have your items in time for the holidays. Um, if you are one of my customers, I have a, a big order going in. What is today? Thursday. As well as I place bulk orders weekly contact me. I can help you place your order or you can place your order through both my Canadian or my American website. Let's get your Scentsy items now and don't wait till the absolute last minute. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell above for future content notifications. Stay tuned because I will be bringing you consistent Scentsy updates as well as updates when Make Sense Candles Company is going to reopen. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.